Thanks for tuning into my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the symbol in the bottom right hand corner at the end of the video. I wish the reason for making this video is on a different subject, but while I was driving to work this morning on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I was listening to the local Washington State news on the radio, and they brought up the fact that Washington State Attorney General Bob Ferguson is pushing a new anti-gun legislation initiative for 2019. I'm sure this is due to the recent success lawmakers had in 2018 passing Initiative 1639, raising the legal age to 21 to purchase semi-automatic rifles, as well as increased background checks and new gun storage laws, but I'm not going to get into that today. This new initiative would prohibit the sale, manufacture, transfer, transport, and import of assault weapons and high-capacity magazines, such as these and limit the capacity to 10 rounds, and would start by creating enhanced background checks and licenses required to be renewed annually. It also requires safe and secure storage for said assault weapons and high-capacity magazines, grandfathered in by being possessed on the effective date of legislation. In retrospect, what I get out of this new legislation is once again they're going after law-abiding, responsible American gun owners and are again attacking the Second Amendment instead of going after the real problem. Being a new gun owner, this frustrates me, knowing they are trying to, in the long run, take away our rights as Americans to bear arms and protect our country and families. I don't think having a 10-round mag instead of a 30-round mag would stop a criminal or person intent on harming another human being from doing so, and I think we need to step back and stop blaming the tools that people use and start blaming the person controlling those tools. I felt it was my duty to help inform and educate firearm owners and supporters of the Second Amendment of what our anti-gun attorney general, Bob Ferguson, is planning on doing to our Second Amendment rights, and we can stop this legislation by voting no to the initiative when it is on the ballot. Thank you, have a good night, and happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day.